How who you are influences the outcome of your car deal at a dealership. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Homework Guy Show, your go-to channel for all things cars and buyer psychology. Today we're diving into what I think is a fascinating topic that merges the car buying process with the inner workings of our minds. Ever wonder why you're drawn to that sleek sports car or find comfort in a cozy, reliable sedan? Well, it might be your personality type that's driving the GPS coordinates for your car buying journey. Understanding more about your tendencies will help you better prepare yourself to negotiate a car deal with dealers. I'm your host, Kevin Hunter, and sitting across from me is the amazing Elizabeth. That's right, today we're talking about how the DISC personality framework, for those of you who are familiar with the DISC profiles, that's dominance, influence, steadfastness, and conscientiousness and how it can help or hinder your success in the car showroom. Are you a D who goes from zero to 60 in decision-making and you're focused on winning? Or maybe you're the type I where style and the latest tech gadgets define your ride and it's important for you to be friendly and make new friends? Today we'll take each disc trait for a spin and see how it just might influence whether you're eyeing that sturdy SUV or that eco-friendly electric car. It will also determine if you stick to your guns in negotiations or if you cave in easily. So buckle up, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already done that, and let's get rolling to find out what your car choice and car buying decisions say about you. And remember, today's show is not about getting from point A to point B. It's about the journey your personality paves for you. Because who you are and how you operate ultimately determines your car deal. Let's dive into the psyche of car buying, shall we? I've been a big fan of DISC and what it tells us about our tendencies for a long time. Friends, maybe you didn't know the DISC personality framework can significantly influence how individuals approach the car buying process as it reflects their predominant traits and decision-making styles. Many of you know me as a master negotiator and at the end, I'll reveal what my personality type is. Let's see if you can guess which type I align with before I share it. So before we dig in, you should be aware that we all have personality tendencies that are our primary type and we also have secondary tendencies from another type. Both influence how we operate and make us unique. If you've been watching the Homework Guy show since I publicly joined the broadcast, the two personality types I connect with should jump out with you as we go through them. First comes the D, which is dominance. Those with a high D factor in their personality are very likely to be decisive people, often looking for cars that offer prestige, power, and a sense of control. Generally, they don't take any crap from anyone, <laughs> and they don't like being distracted with small talk from the goal they have in mind. They play the game of negotiations to win and get exactly what they want. The D personality is task-oriented, not people-oriented, and will often push forward to the point of what they are after, cutting out the typical banter that strangers of other personality types might easily engage in. They may be more focused on the specifications of the vehicle and how the car enhances their opportunity for success. They tend to be car buyers who are in control during the process and want to see and hear evidence that they're winning. A D personality generally does well at a dealership, but can sometimes miss details because they just want to get things done. Next is the I or the influencers. I personalities are often social and image conscious, which can lead them to choose cars that are stylish and popular, reflecting their personality and status. The I is a people-oriented and extroverted individual, not a task-oriented person like the D. They often enjoy the car buying process, even when it's not going all that well for them. <laughs> what they enjoy most is the social interaction part, but that can hurt them too. The type I might be swayed by feelings of obligation, is more accepting of sales pitches that promise an exciting driving experience. This car buyer can sometimes be too busy shooting the breeze with the new friend they've met, like the salesman, to pay enough attention to the details of the deal sitting right in front of them. Not a good friend, you eyes out yeah. there. This kind of buyer can easily get burned. Next on the grid is the S known as steadiness. I think of the S personality as the quiet peacekeeper. Those with a high S score typically value reliability and comfort over everything else. They are quiet but friendly and likely to take their time in the car buying process, seeking vehicles known for their safety records, longevity, and practicality. An S personality type might prefer a car that feels like a smart, long-term investment for themselves and their family. The S personality does not like to negotiate because they do not like to argue with others, making them less likely to defend themselves. This is where peacekeeping tendencies hurt them in a dealership. They just want to get along with everyone and they feel bad about saying no. This kind of buyer can be burned by a dealer too. 
The fourth type on the grid is the C, for conscientiousness. C personalities are likely to do extensive research before making a purchase, valuing data and facts over emotions and trends. It's very important for a C to be right and to do things right. Like the D, the C personality type is task-oriented. They may prioritize fuel efficiency, resale value, and technological features that provide tangible benefits. They're likely to be thorough in comparing models and prices, and they may negotiate firmly to get the best deal. Of all the personality types, the C does the most to cross the T's and dot the I's and will not easily be fooled by distractions. It's not easy to take advantage of a type C personality. In summary, a person's disc profile can affect the type of car they're drawn to, the manner in which they conduct their research and negotiations, and their priorities in terms of car features and the buying experience itself. So friends, which personality type do you think drives the amazing Elizabeth? Anyone <laughs> guess that? Well, Liz, go ahead and shed some light on it for us. I thought it was kind of obvious. My primary personality type is D. Which keeps you easily focused on the task of winning at negotiating. Sure. My secondary type is C. Which is why you nail down every detail of what you do. Yes. Friends, it's a deadly combination when it comes to negotiation and the big reason Elizabeth does so well at it. Here's what I suggest. If you happen to be the quiet type S personality or the outgoing type I personality, think about taking a friend or spouse with you who has these other personality traits and then let them do most of the talking. But if you haven't seen our testimonial video from Lillian, she's definitely a type S following with a type C. She was very thorough in her research and she was very calm and collected and she definitely won her car deal. So type S is Go watch Lillian and get some encouragement from her. She kicked butt, but that she, was probably with help from the C personality in her. She totally did. And a quick reminder, if you think you lack what it takes to negotiate a good car deal, you can get direct help and involvement from me or Kevin in the fourth quarter car deal that you're looking at by signing up as a channel member. It's easy to join. Just hit that little join button right below the video and select a package that's right for you. For direct help, get the Homework Guy Help Package for $24.99. That offers direct email contact with us. You can ask us unlimited questions via email, which is a special email dedicated to members only. The next option is the Homework Guy Consults Package at $49.99. This package gives regular text message contact with both me and Kevin, and you'll get direct contact with Kevin's personal cell phone. This is in addition to the email contact in the previous package. Also, any membership level can be canceled at any time, so there's no risk and limited expense. I have already posted my personal cell number in the members only section of our community page. Also as an extra incentive for the first 50 members to sign up, and that goes for all membership levels, yes. you'll get a free copy of our Car Buyer's Manual when it comes out, and that's likely to be around Christmas. And remember, becoming a member is simple. Just hit the Join button down below the video to sign up today. I also want to remind our regular viewers about the free content we have on our website, thehomeworkguy.com, so make sure you take the time to give us a visit. Besides the website, you can also connect with us on other social media sites like Facebook, so go like our page if you haven't already done that. If you've just recently joined the Homework Guide channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. And if you just became a member on our channel, that's super cool. Thank you. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock, and you know it. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business and always will. We've got to go. Help.